Hi there, foodies. We are back, and it is January, so we are going to do some budget friendly recipes for the month of January. Here, you see me assembling some spinach for chopping up. So, sharpen those knives and get your can openers ready because they are going to be handy. <laughs> We are going to open up some cans because canned food is very, very cheap and it will really, really save on your costs. But first things first, let's get to the vegetables. Which type of vegetables are cost effective? My go-to vegetables is definitely spinach. Be it homegrown or store-bought, spinach is the most cheapest vegetable ever. You'll get a bag for 10 Namibian dollars. So that's the cheapest vegetable that you can have as a side and as a relish on its own. So foodies, let's be friendly to those vegetables. Let's chop them up finely or cube them or slice them. They feed our immune system. So we need to be friendly with the vegetables. And some of us actually feast with our eyes. We want to see presentation. It gives us the appetite to eat. Some people love eating the stem of the spinach. It is not a problem at all because we all believe that it feeds the leaves. So it might still have all the nutrients. But let's cut them up finely as we've cut the leaves. Because it's not really appetizing seeing that long stem in your food. Enough talking, let's get cooking! Do not overcook vegetables, especially the greens. They only need 10 minutes of cooking or else you'll cook out all the nutrients. The first five minutes
I really do not use spices in my greens. I usually just use herbs just to infuse the flavor. Here I have leftover bacon from Christmas, so I'm just going to do something fancy here. Fancy but still really very cost effective because here I'm using pork sausages and pork sausages are very cheap compared to butterwort. So or, or the other alternative that I had was using a bully beef but uh, we did not have breakfast today so I thought ah, let me just use these breakfast sausages. <laughs> 